He's a hoop star. He's an author. We're taking a few moments with Derek Fisher. Derek, so glad to have you with us. Your third year back in L.A., 11 total in the City of Angels, four rings coming off of a championship. Professional life, pretty good, huh, Derek? Uh, yeah, I'd say I'd say more than good. I'm, I'm, I'm humbled by all the things you just described and just want to continue to uh, make the most of it. It's just, it's just a great opportunity to be a part of this game and, and particularly to play for the Lakers. Hey, Derek, most of the attention in camp hasn't been focused on Kobe Bryant, but Lamar Odom. You know, a lot of these things can serve as distractions. You guys must be used to this, right, and just ready to play the game. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, for myself and Kobe and, you know, even get guys like Luke Walton and Sasha who've been here, you know, for six or seven years and, and Lamar as well. You know, when you play for the Lakers, you know, whether it's your on-court performance or, you know, things that are served up as possible distractions off the court, uh, you become accustomed to dealing with those things. And, you know, it, it, it kind of comes with the quote-unquote, uh, you know, Laker, Hollywood, celebrity life kind of thing. And I think overall we've we've done a good job of managing those things in the past and still finding ways to be successful on the court. And uh, I think we'll do the same this year. It's all about being successful on the court, that's for sure. Derek, for six of the last seven years, you've played every regular season game. Is that luck? How do you take care of yourself so well physically? Uh, you know, it's it's... I'm sure some of it is luck. You need a little bit of that in life and, and uh, you know, just blessed to continue to, uh, you know, have the mindset that I want to work as hard as I can in the off season to prepare myself for every season. And then also just a combination of, you know, our, our athletic staff here with the Lakers and, you know, my personal trainers that I work with in the off season at times and, uh, you know, everybody just working together to try and do what's best for, for the Lakers and for any team that I've been on. And, uh, you know, I love what I do and I take it seriously. And, you know, I want to be one of those guys that, you know, continues to push the envelope, and that age is not an arbitrary uh, thing that, that means performance has a decline. I want to keep getting better, and that's what I try to do. You love what you do, and you've created an incredible situation for yourself. Derek, when you know the ins and the outs of the NBA like you do, what do you tell the younger guys? Well, I think, you know, it, it's important to, you know, help younger guys try and understand some things, but also, from my perspective, understand that, you know, I was once 20 years old, you know, and coming into everything, you know, not having a clue about how to handle it all. And there's some things that they'll have to learn just through life experience, and, and you have to appreciate it and respect it. Uh, but, but definitely try and offer some words of wisdom and, you know, really help them understand how quickly this is going to go. And even for me going into my 14th year, it just seems to go faster and faster. I'm closer to the end than I am the beginning. I'm definitely not going to play for 13 more years. Uh, and so it goes fast and take advantage of every moment. But make sure that you, you try and leave this game better than what you came into it. And uh, I think that's a good mentality to have. Sure. Sharing a couple tips along the way. Derek, you lost Trevor Ariza. Uh, you gained Ron Artest. How does Artest fit into your system, do you think? Well, you know, we're going to miss Trevor uh, for sure. You know, his, his persona, his personality, his spirit, uh, you know, and his performance on the court, they, just, they all fit very well with our group. And, you know, we wish him the best in Houston, and, and we'll see him down the road. Uh, you know, Ron is, is a, a different type of player, uh, but will give us a lot of uh, similar things uh, in terms of a defensive presence, uh, a guy that we can we can put on another team's really good or best, you know, backcourt player, wing player, uh, and just have him create all all type of problems on the defensive end. Uh, and then from there, he's also he's another guy on the offensive end that we can go to to, to get opportunities. Uh, you know, he's used to having the basketball, making plays for himself and others. So when you add him to Kobe Bryant and Paul Gasol and Lamar Odom and Andrew Bynum, uh, it makes it even harder for people to try and defend us. So we're excited about it, and, you know, we're just working hard here these couple of days to get used to each other. Derek, let's look at the big picture for just a minute. When you talk about the best of the West, it starts with you guys, but the West is so deep. What teams do you think pose a threat for you guys to repeat? Uh, no, you know, like you stated, there, there are a number of teams that, uh, you know, will continue to get better uh, and that made moves to get better, you know, this off season. Uh You know, you, you think about the Spurs who are always competitive and, you know, are sometimes an, an ankle injury to Ginobili or Parker or somebody, you know, they're they're that close to, to, to being back at the top. And so, you know, we know the Spurs will be uh, right up there with the best of them. You know, Portland is a team that showed some promise last year and that we've struggled with in the regular season at least. Uh, at times, and so they'll they'll be competitive. Um, you know, you, you you can never count anybody out in this game. That's the one thing about it. You know, the Jazz will be very competitive again. So you know, those are teams that jump right out. Uh, and obviously, the Nuggets, who we played in the Western Conference Finals. You know, you you, you don't quite understand how motivated teams become after you knock them out. You know, in a, in <laughs> I'm a, in a sure they do. Finals. 
<laughs> yeah, so we, we'll 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 uh, we'll have some hard fought games against those guys as well. You know, Derek, just talking to you for these few minutes, it seems like you have a great handle and a balance between life and basketball. Tell us about that recent book you wrote called Character Driven. Yeah, no, thank you uh, for asking. It's uh, the title is Character Driven: uh, Life Lessons in Basketball, and uh, you know, it really is truly just a. Uh, uh, you know, a chronicle, uh, uh, um, my 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 personal and deepest thoughts about you know my life and the lessons that I've learned in my life through through the game of basketball, but but also through life uh, and how they've all impacted me to to be who I am today, and 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 not be who I am today as though I'm better than other people, but be who I am today because this is me, and you know, hopefully through the book and just through my life, I can be, you know, possibly an example for young people, for other, for other individuals that see some similarities in their life and some of the stories that I describe in the book. Uh, and that we all can be who we want to be and accomplish what we want to accomplish with some hard work, some discipline, some focus, uh, faith, uh, and just believing that, you know, all things will conspire to, to work out for the good. So, uh, you know, keep a positive attitude and, and just keep hanging in there and, that's the gist of the book, and I'm, I'm humbled by the support that it's received so far. Oh, we're all looking forward to it. Derek Fisher, good luck this season. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Lauren. All right, and we appreciate your time. CBSSports.com. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll see you real soon.